Hello YouTube, welcome to another video by the Geo Scholar. And this little specimen in front of me is... Scoria. Scoria is a porous igneous rock. It forms from lava reaching the surface at a lower pressure. Gases are released as it cools leaving these air pockets here, known as vesicles. That is why scoria looks the way it is. That is why it has the very porous appearance. And it's the same reason that pumice has the porous appearance. It is important to understand the difference between pumice and scoria. Pumice has a whitish gray appearance Scoria is darker, ranges from black to brown to reddish purple. In fact, the word scoria comes from the Greek word for rust. Has a bit of that rust-like appearance. And there is another difference. You have to get deeper to notice this difference between pumice and scoria. If you get a little deeper, it's hard to tell from here, but you look at these vesicles, these air pockets in the rock, pumice has thinner walls in between the vesicles, whereas scoria has thicker walls. I have this jar of water. Now, why would I have it here? This is another major difference between pumice and scoria. Pumice will float because it has a specific gravity less than one. Scoria, having thicker walls in between the air pockets, has a specific gravity greater than one, which means it will not float. Scoria has its uses in construction and landscaping. For construction, it's often used in concrete. Concrete made with scoria tends to be a bit lighter. And in many cases, it's used to make buildings a bit more energy efficient. And it's also used in landscaping. You know, you would see this in situations where you would normally see mulch. It's used in hydroponics farming. This porous rock has quite a few uses. That is my geoscience lesson. Hope you liked it. Don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.